नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स दिस इज एन जे ये होस्ट ऑन दिस चैनल सो गाइज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल हैव अवर डिस्कशन ऑन द अपकमिंग ट्रांसिट ऑफ प्लानिट मर्करी मर्करी विच इज करेंटली ट्रांसिटिंग इन द लिब्रा साइन बट ऑन अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी एथ इट विल ट्रांसिट इन द स्कॉर्पियो साइन एंड फ्रॉम अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी एथ टिल जनवरी थर्ड इट्स गोइंग टू बी ट्रांसिटिंग इन द स्कॉर्पियो साइन डेफिनेटली इन द केस ऑफ मर्करी बिकेज ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम इट इज गोइंग टू बी टर्निंग रेट्रोग्रेड दैन मूविंग फॉरवर्ड सो बिकेज ऑफ विच द होल ड्यूरेशन ऑफ मर्करी इन द स्कॉर्पियो इज गोइंग टू बी गेटिंग लिटिल बिट स्ट्रेच नाउ डेफिनेटली गाइज द ट्रांसिट ऑफ मर्करी बिकम्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड विद द काइंड ऑफ प्लानिटरी अलाइनमेंट राइट नाउ इज हैपनिंग एंड विद द डिस्पोजिटर ऑफ द स्कॉर्पियो ऑफ द मर्करी विच इज गोइंग to be debilitated as well so because of which it somehow becomes little bit sensitive because uh, whenever mercury goes retrograde uh, all of our communication aspect people forget writing something uh, important attaching important documents in their emails people get into fights because of misunderstanding so definitely because it's the energy of the scorpio which somehow makes it little bit sensitive and mercury in today's modern day age becomes very important because uh, it represents our communication discriminatory intelligence our social network like all the social media somehow is in the domain of rahu and mercury only so whether you are working as a creator as a influencer whether uh, you are a mathematics teacher whether you are an accountant stand up comedian so mercury is equally important for all of us and guys when we talk about the general results of mercury stay in the scorpio so guys um mercury in the scorpio is a blessing for the researchers for the investigators something to do where you have to solve and break down the complex problems even if you are a psychologist even if you are a therapist or something this is a blessing for you and in certain cases because we all are kind of you know all the time on our guard uh to deal with the scammers and all who keep on getting innovative with their practices as well so even if you are doing something which is very questionable which is something very uh, unethical illegal and all so all of that also comes in the domain of the a uh, very afflicted mercury only which somehow could be connected with the scorpio sign guys we all know this thing that mercury in the water signs is never a uh, good placement but there is a difference mercury in the cancer is agitated it is confused because the logics do not and are not able to understand or process the emotions mercury in the pisces is definitely in a problematic situation because it does not believe in giving away everything in sacrifice unconditional um, aspect in any business dealing is something which no businessman will be able to understand and when we talk about mercury in the scorpio this is one such kind of placement which can give rise to the a uh, criminal mindset so we have to be aware of that but again at the same time those who are actually working in order to safeguard us protect us these are also the people who are somehow being getting blessed because of this placement but giving its results in a positive light so okay guys now after this because um, we know that for this year scorpio is in the dual aspect of the slow moving planets as well it is receiving the straight aspect from the uh, planet jupiter from the taurus sign it is receiving the 10th aspect from the planet saturn from the aquarius sign so that means that no matter in which capacity you are operating with mercury in the scorpio whether you fall in the ethical domain of the business practices or unethical domain of the business practices your capacity to strike big your capacity to strike a gold tend to remain strong and the potential and possibility is going to be tremendous because of the way other planets are going to be behaving around and because uh, during this day of mercury only sun is going to be passing from over here like it is going to be briefly conjunct with planet venus as well so yes lot of the energy and action going on in the energy in the domain of the scorpio in the next couple of months so okay guys now we will try to understand the results how this transit is going to be influencing all the rising signs starting first with the aries lagna now definitely guys in your case mercury is not a very favorable planet for you uh, because of having a rulership over the 3rd house and the 6th house in the transit it is going to be entering in your 8th uh, house so definitely guys in your case all the like a malefic 
houses are somehow making combination over and above that it is being well supported and guarded by the aspect of some important planets so i would say that if let's say for example during this time you are engaged in something where you have to deal with like you know people who are like not very um people who do not conduct their businesses in a straight line through ethical ways so if life put you in a circumstances where you have to deal with these kind of twisted situation corrupted people crooked people and all i would say this thing that the mercury stay in the eighth house can actually benefit you can empower you along with that guys there's a slight possibility of some sudden unexpected good news and for those people who are the performing artist and all suddenly um, you know standing a chance for some big audition big contract uh, big kind of sum of money which suddenly can be arranged along with that it's also very good time for the researchers like during this time if you are making use of the third house in any way being a sales media marketing professional artist creative professional the more deep you will go the more insightful and the more psychological aspect you will put out in your research in your work the better it will uh, generate the results for you so yes guys all what i can say it has got a mixture of the results and connotation and yes those people who are like who have this capacity to um, get easily hurt get in the mode of the vengeance and all these are the people who have to be careful because um, your ascendant lord is already debilitated in the fourth house so if something happens which is gonna hurt you you will be very quick to respond with vengeance with revenge and all or with manipulation and all so just protect your dharma that is all what i can say for the aries natives now guys uh, let me talk about the taurus natives definitely guys in your case mercury is a very important planet and mercury is going to be transiting in your seventh house so definitely guys this is going to be one such transit where mercury is going to be empowering you like even if you have to cut corners you have to opt for any means just to get that benefit of yours just to get that commercial benefit of yours get that deal signed up or impress someone so i would say that for all those uh, objectives and all it is going to be a good transit for you again guys if you have got scorpio in the seventh house that does not mean that the taurus natives will always be stressed on the account of the business this is what you have got and this is what your innate capacity is that you can process channel any stressful situation and turn it into a cash cow so i would say that during this time uh, there is a strong possibility of some uh, commercial business gain uh, for the taurus natives uh, mercury is a beneficial planet for them and the kind of aspect and influence it is going to be in during this stay in the seventh house of yours getting expected by your like um, your karak planet saturn from the 10th house jupiter from the first house so definitely and even because with mercury there is also a chance of uh, romance attraction work related travels and all which will prove out to be profitable now guys when we talk about the gemini natives definitely guys uh, mercury is your ascendant lord and it is going to be transiting in your 6th house so guys health needs to be monitored this is going to be the time when your nerves your nerves could be strained uh, there could be health or skin related concerns and all so health is something regarding which you have to be careful along with that guys um although it's like if you are actually see i'm not seeing you guys being in a victimized situation because other important planets are expecting this mercury your ascendant lord in the 6th house especially the saturn so if you are actually operating in the domain of loans uh fitness credit insurance uh law arbitration any problem solving conflict solving working as a nutritionist those people can get benefited so i'm not saying much of the vulnerability that you will be scammed or you will be conned rather if you are utilizing the energy of this 6th house the transit will support you so yes guys um and the way i mentioned uh if you have to write any competitive exam of something so things and the stars will favor you just the matters of your health needs to be guarded now guys when we talk about the cancer natives definitely guys in your case uh, mercury is not a very favorable planet for you and now it is going to be transiting in the 5th house so definitely guys uh, during this time uh, i would say that for those people who are like um, working in the fields of accountancy business uh, or um, you know mathematics and uh, designing and something those people can slightly get benefited fifth house also tells 
us about our thought process, the way our mind works. Mercury is a very intelligent planet. So for the students and especially students of psychology, students who are like engaged in the very um, uh, uh, therapy, psychology and uh, the matters of life and death, um, anything connected with investigation research and all so those people definitely can get benefited but again guys uh, when we talk about the matters of the speculation and all so uh, take calculative and controlled risk in the stock market only that is all what i can say but definitely guys uh, mercury's transit from the fifth house definitely is a good sign for the performing artist and making use of your discriminatory intelligence for performing good in any academic sphere and also guys we know this thing that mercury is like has got a gift of gab it's a very flirtatious planet so yes sudden attraction and romance um, can also uh, materialize for a brief period of time when uh, even venus is going to be transiting from your fifth house so yes it's a good sign for romance and affairs and all now guys uh, when we talk about the matters of the um, for the leo rising natives definitely guys in your case mercury has got a rulership over your 11th house and the uh, second house the most important um planet for you in terms of your wealth and finances and it is going to be transiting from your um like fourth house so definitely guys uh, during this time you have to be very careful that there should not be anything um, which involves a uh, business dealing arrangements contracts and all which is just getting done on good faith which is just getting done on the goodwill or just on the word of mouth and all because later on it can be responsible for some uh, kind of you know rift in the a healthy cordial business relationship as well so um, in the matters of business do not mix emotions feelings or goodwill over there that is the one thing which i want to say second thing is that definitely guys in your case if your business aspiration is straight away connected with the matters of the fourth house you are an architect you are a realtor those people can get benefited and yes guys um, emotionally it is a time of conflict and turmoil but it has got other important benefits attached for you and yes lot many people spend lot of money during these times uh, in for their comforts for their conveniences and all so overall it's a good time i'm not seeing much vulnerability now guys when we talk about the for the virgo natives definitely guys it is your ascendant lord in the transit going in the third house so definitely it will increase your intensity to put the hard work out there for the influencers uh, communicators creators freelance self-employed people and guys the good part is that um, mercury in the third house in the house of communication self-expression and over here it is in the uh, scorpio and well expected by other important planets so that means during this time you can actually do something which is going to be filled with lot of research lot of insights lot of taboo breaking which can suddenly surprise people around you that okay we used to find him little bit um, kind of superficial but we did not know that he has this capacity to go to the depth and create this kind of work and yes guys we say this thing yeah overall it's not vulnerable because mercury is a favorable planet going in the third house which is a favorable house for it so yes you will be very proactive to encash or foresee any opportunity getting generated around you so how to make use of your network to create any opportunity this is how mercury is going to be functioning for you now guys for the uh, Libra natives definitely guys in your case Mercury has got a rulership over your 9th house and the 12th house a very important planet for you and now it is going to be transiting in your um, like second house so definitely guys I'm not seeing much of the vulnerability Mercury is a important favorable planet for you and during this time you will have this capacity to be very convincing with your speech because uh, your ascendant lord venus is also going to be briefly conjunct with this mercury in the second house so definitely guys whether you are in a family business you are in any of the public speaking sphere or something to do with during this time only you have to audit any of your um, you know uh, balance sheet or look into the financial affairs of the business and all so it's a good time overall i'm not seeing you guys vulnerable the only thing is that with the energy of the um of the scorpio and the lord of which it is uh, planet mars it is going to be there in the 10th house so mars is very strong very empowered it's just like that when you're talking uh the more research 
and data you have rather than just getting back at people striking back being acting with vengeance and all so try and to be more on towards the positive constructive side of mercury and it will give you wonderful results i can assure you of that and yes guys sudden unexpected financial gain could also be on the cards the way it is going to be supported by saturn's aspect jupiter's aspect so all of that possibility is still there now guys when we talk about the scorpions definitely guys in your case uh, mercury is going to be transiting from your first house definitely guys mercury is not a favorable planet for you so that means it can actually uh, throw some sudden challenges at you or there could be some skin related concern and all but the good thing is that your ascendant lot although debilitated but it is in the ninth house so that means it will support you it will safeguard your interest the second thing is that guys uh, definitely because the ascendant uh, like uh, any planet which goes from the ascendant its energy gets uh, somehow experienced in our personality so definitely your public speaking skills your capacity to solve any complex problem if people will come to you like because in your case mercury has got a rulership over your 11th house of network as well so if you will be reached out for uh, doing the negotiation arbitration reconciliation of any problem any conflict you will be able to give good advice to people around you as well so yes guys if i were to say uh, definitely health is one area where you have to be a little bit careful uh, your outspokenness and especially while saying something which could be negative toxic hurtful in this area you have to be careful because your ascendant lord is going to be transiting in the ninth house and the way planets are behaving it might have an impact on your public image and all that okay people might target you as okay this person is negative this person is toxic so just be very mindful of that but otherwise overall if i were to say it's a good time and in any forum where you have to um, give any presentation give any performance you have to speak and address and cater to a large audience you will be able to impress people now guys when we talk about for these Sagittarius natives definitely guys in your case uh, mercury has got a rulership over your um, like seventh house and the tenth house and now mercury is going to be transiting in your twelfth house so definitely guys uh, you have to be a little bit careful because during this time it might become a little bit difficult for you to judge that which all people are your actual well-wisher and which all people are just double-faced and trying to manipulate you into something there's a high possibility that you will be uh, embroiled into some sort of scandal or office politics or something so you have to be a little bit careful because guys in the Sagittarius natives case uh, 10th house is the house of your public image your career 7th house is important house for the business professionals so be very careful like rather I would say that if during this time a lot many people will approach you with some shady deals okay you do not have to go that route I can save on the expense I can save on the money uh, I was watching this movie yesterday the war dogs war dogs it was nice movies like you know at the end just because they somehow did not pay a very simple man for the packaging and which was responsible for their fall because he was the first one who complained so i mean to say do not try to cut corners especially where it can backfire because guys again it's not like that i'm saying that on the basis of mercury's transit to the 12th house your ascendant lord in itself in the 6th house is making you prone towards getting into entangled into conflict and all so just be mindful be very careful and i would say that um, there will be if your uh, natal moon is afflicted a lot many people will be surrounded by those mysteries conspiracies things happening behind their back anxiety so just be very mindful uh, take good care of your moon that becomes the most important and at your work front do not get involved into something which can embroil you into controversy scandals and all now guys when we talk about for the capricorn natives definitely guys in your case mercury is a very favorable planet uh, being the ninth lord and now it is going to be transiting in the 11th house definitely guys it will open up doors because uh, saturn from the second house is going to be expecting it jupiter from the uh, uh, fifth house is expecting it so overall i only have good things to say during this time your network circle will help you with your speech with your good decision making with your good judgment you'll be able to extract any good beneficial opportunity and deal for you so overall guys um, just keep your social life active and i would say that there's a strong possibility that at your work front 
I will not be surprised if suddenly out of nowhere you will be picked for promotion for any important job responsibility and something. So I would say that it's overall a good uplifting transit for the Capricorn natives. Now guys when we talk about for the Aquarius natives definitely guys in your case Mercury is a very uh, important planet of your discriminatory intelligence, deep thinking, scientific mindset and it is going to be entering in your 10th house. So definitely guys it is going to turn the ball around in your favor at your career front. So let's say for example, if from the past couple of uh, weeks, things have slowed down at your career front and something, you have lost all the hope and all. So suddenly this transit can, uh, uh, you know, uh, turn things around in your favor. And especially guys, for people who are actually, uh, you're professionally doing uh, astrology or you are a Reiki healer, you are a scientist, you're engaged in uh, research of any sort, solving other people's problem and all so i would say those people can strong strongly get benefited again guys fifth house is the house of our talent our academics all the ideas which we have and 10th house is the actual house of the performance it's the actual house of where you, we function as a part of our duties in the society so yes lot many opportunities for the aquarius lagna for the talent and skill set which they possess during this time and lastly guys uh, for uh, all the Pisces natives definitely guys in your case Mercury has got a rulership over your fourth house and the seventh house and in the transit it is going to be entering in your ninth house so guys uh, one thing is for sure that for uh, something to do with the travels work related travels or like you know uh, signing up any deal any important kind of contract and all the time period seems to be uh, beneficial for you because uh, your ascendant lord is expecting it saturn is expecting it so i would say that if you are a student of any sort or you have any import export business or you are in a business of immigration and all you are still a, like you are pursuing your higher studies enrollment into any college any certification any course of your choice so i would say that overall this entry of mercury in your ninth house is definitely creating a good yoga for the Pisces Lagna natives. So yes guys, this is something which I wanted to say as a part of my inputs. For further more updates and notifications on the divine science of Vedic Astrology, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Instagram account. Dhaniwad.